What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. We are hitting it hard with these vlogs. We're trying to get them out weekly for you guys. Our haunt vlogs for you. And today is a fun one, a special one. Today we are going to East Whittier Middle School for their 15th annual haunted house. And this year, the theming is called Castle of Terror. So I'm excited they invited us back out again this year. So a big shout out to East Whittier Middle School. If you guys get a chance, they do a Harvest Festival uh, every single year for uh, two days at the middle school to raise money. Uh, the Haunted House is to raise money for their music program at the school. So we go down there, they invite us out, and then we always leave a donation afterwards because, you know, live music needs to live on, uh, especially uh, being taught in the public school system as well. I mean, I feel like it's a good getaway for a lot of uh, a lot of things in life. And music's always a good uh, kind of that getaway to just escape the reality that is the real world. Um, so we're gonna go down there. We're gonna go check out Castle of Terror, and then right afterwards, we're heading out to Griffith Park for the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. You excited? Yeah. It's gonna be so, a good one. So you know a little bit about music too. They say that there's two different sides of your brain. So music and being able to learn that in school should essentially unlock more parts and more brain power. So we just got out of East Whittier Middle School and they did a phenomenal job this year. Again, uh, second year in a row we've gotten to go, we've been invited out and they do a phenomenal job every single year. Um, big shout out you to- You know what this middle school said? They said no black walls. No black walls at all. So big shout out to uh, Chris for inviting us out. He always uh, contacts me about this event and then I start <laughs> getting more information after that one initial message and he does a really good job, um, him and the team, do an amazing job uh, creative and then bringing it all to life and it's a very short period like they put it up in one week and then on a Sunday the day after the events over they take it all down before noon before noon so they're up at a.m. at the school already and they're out of there by 11 a.m. so big kudos to them they were very kind to us when we came through and um, it was just an amazing walkthrough they did a great job the kids were on point with the scaring um, we were told behind the scenes that they actually do a scare school so um they actually train all the kids of of you know how to scare and amaze and everything so i think that's really cool and everything and, and, and the kids are just so involved into it um as well so i i had a great time it was amazing it was good that was a 10 out of 10 for sure that was always that's always a, that's always now a new haunt season favorite right there yep. uh now going two years in a row i can vouch that they they do so if anyone any big haunts watch the walkthrough uh fund these guys because they need some more money to build even more because they, it, maybe even take some notes yeah donations you know to the uh music department me and hayes both donated twenty dollars so uh nights of horror with a forty dollar donation at um castle of terror and it was a good it was medieval like theming they had said that they've never seen anything like that uh like a full walkthrough so they really dug in with the medieval supernatural aspect of things so i really enjoyed it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it now 
We are in the car yet again on our way to Los Angeles for the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. We should be getting there roughly around eight o'clock. Hopefully we get to get through everything and see what they have to offer. Uh, I'm very uh, much looking forward to this one. This is something we do every single year. So we'll see what they have to pull off for 2024. Hopefully the heat can keep coming. Yes, because it's it's been a strong start to the night already. So um, we'll see what happens next. So we will get back to you once we get to Griffith Park in Los Angeles.
Sitting here, we just Come on the bed. finished. We got we got Baker here. Yes, sir. First time at ha ha Los Angeles Honda Hayride. What'd you think? The whole place, I would give it seven out of ten. That's pretty good. It's 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 good put together. Everything. It's just they just need a little bit more hype, like w within the actors, and they need a little bit more filling in the actors, like in the scare zone and and throughout the hayride too. All right. That's my opinion. There it is. Seven out of ten. Baker, you need a job? Yes, I do need a job. job. I don't pay. Who needs the job? It doesn't pay, but I need another on-screen personality. Oh. <laughs> New one right here. There it is, Signed. right there. Signed. Exclusive deal. Uh, no, Hayride has been a good one. So we went through Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat was a lot of fun. Um, very well updated uh, facade. By the way, there's like brand new uh, signs for the beginning of every maze that look incredible. Um, that really make the maze pop out to where you're going. But Trick or Treat, right off the bat, was the first maze we went through. Uh, facades were great within it. The door, some doorbells. We got some candy. Yeah, there was like two doorbells. Yeah, so that was cool. Yeah, we got some candy. candy. That was awesome. We got a, I got a Hubble Bubba uh, grape um, bubble gum that was very delicious. I also, uh, Hayes gave me some Smarties. I gave her the original uh, Hubble Bubba uh, regular flavor. And so that was a good time. I really enjoyed the scares in that one. I think it was very well uh, put together and uh, just overall great Halloween vibe. Yeah. Good time. Then we went to Hell Billy Halloween, which I believe is a new one or more reimagined one. Well, they had one. it last year, but they redid it. Redid it. So the exit's now on the opposite side, as you guys saw. I think it was but a lot better than last year. Last year it was just super, super dark. Yeah. They, you know, they did keep like that dark element there, but they brightened it up just enough so where you could see what you're actually going through. Yeah, and, and not to mention there was a lot of uh, new changes. It actually felt like there was a story to flow through with. So like I understood it from start to finish. And that goes across the board with everything we've been through tonight. Um, now we got out of, I forgot what the, what is this one called? Mor Morel Manor? I think it's Moral called Manor? Moral Manor. Um, I know this one, so at Midsummer Scream, this one was announced that this was a collaboration actually with an artist. Oh. So this is an artist collaborated. That's the lady that you saw throughout the maze. I don't know what she does music wise, but she's in the, she's in the game. That's cool. Yeah. I did like the screens. I think it gave a little bit more of that like extra element to the maze. Yeah. I agree. I think uh, this one was probably my favorite out of the three. I, I have to say this one was probably my favorite too. Now, the Haunted Hayride itself, um, it's better. A better. I felt a little bit longer this year. It also had some a lot of new set pieces that were uh, new this year. A lot of the stuff that you've seen in the past at Midnight Falls now has made their way inside the actual Hayride to keep the story and the locations alive. So it's still very spaced out, though. Yeah, very spaced out. There's a lot of like in between. Got, like, I don't know, 30 to a minute of like stuff and then a good like minute in between, so. Yeah, it, it takes a cool minute, but. It's not cohesive, but it's fun. I gotta go with Baker on this one. It's probably gonna be a solid seven to seven and a half out of 10 this year. Um, overall, just, I think we've had, we had good walkers and everything. It was well casted. Uh, the, everything looked good. Um, and this is probably one of the one of the be best years of Haunted Hayride that I've been to since 2019. Um, it still has a lot to be improving. Like I'd like to see more street characters out here. Definitely. Um, there's, there's a lack of them today. Yeah. There's. Um, I think we've seen. I think a total of like four or three. five. I've seen like four or five. Okay. I've seen like maybe three to five, three to four. But, uh, but some uh, more street as characters. As far as my rating goes, I'm a much harder rater. I would do like five and a half six. All right. Out of ten. 
Not bad. So that's going to do it for here at Haunted Hayride. We had a great time. Thank you uh, so much for uh, 13 Floor Entertainment for giving away free tickets at the Midsummer Screen Panel. That was how we were able to come out tonight. Uh, a little bit of a cluster to get parking, but once we got in, we were able to do everything within two hours. Yeah. Hour and a half, maybe. Um, so, and it's a Saturday. I don't know how it is on, going to be later in the season, so take advantage yeah, we're still of... we're in September right now. Yeah, I think it's only the second weekend for um, Hayride as well, because they all open the same weekend, uh, Harbor Hayride and Magic Jack Line. So it's only the second weekend, and Delusion, only the second weekend for everything. So, um, yeah, crowds weren't too bad at all, actually. We walked on just about, I think the most we waited was about 10 minutes for a maze, but it was they, a very good good time. They do need to get their ticketing down, though. Yes. Uh, Maybe wristbands. Issues. No, I mean, I don't mean with that, but I mean, like, oh, in general. in general. Yeah. I've had issues now with Dark Harbor and with, you know, the LA Haunted Hayride, so. Yeah, and then we. It kind of makes people stress out a little bit when you show up to the event and then you can't find your ticket email because it was never sent to you. Yeah, I think they need to figure out a new system for that. Uh, I haven't had no issues with it. I know a lot of people said that their email's been going to the spam folder this year, uh, mine included. I know hers. I didn't get two of them. So two I of had them, to, so. Like, reach out for them. Yeah, so check your spam folders. Make sure to check all your folders and your emails because uh, that's usually where the tickets have been going. Uh, yeah. But other than that, or the check event. before you come so that way you can email them before the date because I yeah. forgot and I had to go to guest services. And yeah, it was a little bit of a thing, but we still had a lot of fun. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for our night tonight here at the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. And don't forget, we started with East Whittier Middle School's Castle of Terror. So two great haunts tonight. Um, I came in with low expectations for Hayride, walked out like, okay, not bad. They're doing better. They're doing better. And that's what we love to see. Love to see it. Um, so yeah, it's been a great, great day. Special, special shout out to um, East Whittier Middle School for inviting us out for Castle yeah. of Terror. That was such an amazing haunt. I love going out there. Yeah, uh, if you guys get a chance next year when they do their Harvest Festival, uh, check them out. We posted it on our story for this weekend on Thursday, so you guys can go Friday, Saturday. But um, I think they said they always try to do the last weekend of September. Yeah, last weekend of September. So look, look out for that. It's East Whittier mark it on Middle your School. Now. Yes, mark it on the calendars. East Whittier Middle School, Whittier, California. Mm -hmm. um, so they were they were great hosts and they and they brought us in with open arms and and we had a great time going through that. We got to go through that twice. A lot of fun. And then we came down to the Haunted Hayride. Uh, did all the 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 attractions that they had to offer here. Again, outside of a little bit of ticketing, ticketing problems and, and traffic getting here, uh, the event overall was just a fun time, and it's a great way to end our night. So and we found a thirteen dollars shirt. Yeah, I bought a thirteen dollars long sleeve shirt. Hayes found it, uh, well, and then Kelly actually found it. Kelly found it, and then Hayes brought it to my attention. Yeah. And then I bought it, and then you got a new ten dollars bag. Yeah, I got a phone pouch. Got a phone pouch. So a secondary phone pouch. It's gonna be good. Uh, so yeah. I'm happy about it. That's going to do it for this vlog. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you guys for the next one. But until then, stay spooky.